in the recent hours was very clear. He said, I'm 100% sure that he will become Real Madrid manager one day. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, we touch on Real Madrid. Xavi Alonso, Kobe Meino, Julian Nagelsmann, many things to discuss. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, let me start today's video by mentioning Julian Nagelsmann again. First of all, thanks to all of you guys for being always here on the channel, always providing all you the latest to you. And if you're here, if you're a subscriber, you know, guys, that in the recent days I told you about Julian Nagelsmann becoming the front runner for Bayern job ahead of Roberto De Zerbi and Ralf Ragnick, who remain the two alternative names on the shortlist of Bayern for the job to replace Thomas Tuchel. Let me confirm once again that Nagelsmann is now the front runner. Basically, it's really important now for Bayern in the next days to understand what's going to happen between Nagelsmann and the German Federation. The Federation uh, of Germany, they obviously want to keep Nagelsmann uh, till the World Cup 2026. They already prepared a new contract proposal for um, Julian Nagelsmann, so they want him to commit his future to the German national team and continue there. Nagelsmann wants to decide before the Euros his future, and he knows, he really knows now, that Bayern interest is strong, is concrete. Bayern already prepared an ideal project they could have with uh, Julian Nagelsmann. So they have an idea, they have a picture of what they want to do with Julian Nagelsmann. It's about Max Eber, it's about Christopher Freund, all the people at the club already discussed this internally for Julian Nagelsmann to be the new coach. Now it's about entering into the crucial stages of the conversation and understanding what Nagelsmann wants to do in terms of his future with the national team or with Bayern. But he's the big favorite. Contacts took place with his agents in the recent weeks. And so Nagelsmann is the strong candidate to return to Bayern. Roberto De Zerbi is still available there with the release close. Uh, also waiting for opportunities around Europe. So let's see what's going to happen with De Zerbi. Appreciated by Bayern, but never really close to the job because he had some contacts. Direct contacts, yes. With Bayern, yes. With Liverpool, no. But never really close to getting the job as of now. Then let's see what's going to happen with Nagelsmann. And then Ragnik, who denied in public this possibility, but remains one of the names discussed internally by Bayern. And then, guys, let's Let's see what's gonna happen also with the future, not this summer, of Xabi Alonso, but Fernando Carro, the CEO of Bayer Leverkusen, speaking to the Spanish press in the recent hours, was very clear. He said, I'm 100% sure that he will become Real Madrid manager one day. Fernando Carro was very strong in his statement. He said, I have no doubts, zero doubts, Xabi Alonso will be Real Madrid manager one day. He was really strong and clear in that message. He knows that Xabi Alonso is super attracted by a future to Real Madrid. This is the reality. Xabi Alonso still loves uh, all his former clubs, Bayern, Liverpool, Real Madrid. But the feeling with Real Madrid as a Spanish guy is obviously uh, something really special. And also, guys, let me add one point. Uh, you probably remember about that. I told you when Xabi Alonso decided to stay at Bayern Leverkusen and reject the possibility to be Bayern or Liverpool manager this summer, I told you one crucial thing. Florentino Perez, Real Madrid president, is a super big fan of Xabi Alonso. This is an important factor. Florentino is a big fan of the person Xabi Alonso. He believes that Xabi has the perfect style uh, for Real Madrid, but also style as a manager. So his skills as a coach are considered fantastic by Florentino Perez. His capacity to get in touch with the players, with big players, has always been something special as a former player and now as a coach. So Florentino is a super big fan of Xabi Alonso. This is why the feeling is that one day this Xabi Alonso Real Madrid opportunity will happen. This is what also the CEO of Bayer Leverkusen, Fernando Carro, said. And then, guys, for Manchester United fans, we can confirm that the conversations are ongoing to extend the contract of Kobe Maino, despite the reports from many clubs. No, guys, the conversation between the agents of Kobe Maino and May United are ongoing. Ineos are really pushing to keep Kobe Maino at the club with a long-term contract. It's already a long-term contract, so this is why it's not something imminent or urgent. He's under contract till 2027 with an option till 2028. 
so the situation is not worrying at all for Manchester United. But they want to give Kobe a higher salary and also to include several add-ons into his contract to give him the best salary possible in the future if his growth will continue like this. So Man United prepared a new contract proposal. They want to make it happen in the next months. Conversations are ongoing about the salary. Obviously, there will be a big salary increase, but everything is going to the right direction between Kobe Maino and Manchester United with Ineos convinced to make Kobe one of the faces of the project for present and future. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Kobe Maino, Julian Nagelsmann, Xabi Alonso, I wait for your opinion here in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.